What up, what up, Wheatfield, what it do? Welcome back to the Wheatfield, y'all. Welcome to you. Hi, hi, hi. If you new, hi. Welcome, welcome to the Wheatfield. My name is La, La T, and I am a channel messenger. And I message with the big three, the Alpha Omega, the Infinite Intelligence, um, the Alpha and Omega, yeah, AKA, the word, the principal thing, and the breath of life, the Holy Chi that uh, feels and animates me, you and connects me to all things including you hi welcome welcome to the wheat field y'all um today i am not really for sure what kind of energy i'm feeling i'm not um it's kind of like uh do we want to talk about self-care which we did on yesterday do we want to do a little monday magnificent motivation yes that's what we feel so we're gonna do that and uh, get and pull some cards uh, but first we got to let y'all know a couple disclaimers we're growing hi yay we're growing and I I am so excited for uh, where we're going and what we're doing you know making progress one step at a time one step at a time my week we're gonna get there uh, I mean it's gonna be that lifelong journey like just to serve and to put out messages and to uh yeah just speak to the field what up y'all's week what it do Welcome back to the Wheatfield, y'all. Welcome to you. So glad to have each and every one of you. Uh, yeah, it's only me. It's only one Lati, and this is it. And uh, so don't get scammed or taken in by somebody claiming to be me and they really not. Nope, it's just me. And I won't reach out to you and, and ask you if you want a reading or offer to get your love back for a hundred dollars or promise you wealth or none of that mess it's not that it's just really messages from the spirit and just things that we the messages i'm being told to deliver because i have a word put down in me and i was told to to deliver it and speak it out so that's what we do and we play cards too we do we pull from texts and other readings and stuff like that because see we are spiritual we're not religious right we're not we believe that the source the eternal lord of all of creation has been speaking aka is word um and as we speak the breath moves at the same time in tandem right it has been speaking since the dawn of creation right so uh we look and see how the source has spoken to us creation all throughout the ages and we try to find that everywhere because the word is written on everything and we can read all the words my week so uh that's pretty much that in a nutshell we got too many spiritual gifts to list i mean you guys will see me scribe we scribe the source comes in or intelligence or the breath will want to speak and we will say what is written you will see downloads happen in real time we have ancestors here too that like to speak or give us little clues and inklings but um we are only surrendered onto the most high huh, that called our light so be that as you know others may want to speak you know they kind of gotta go through the most high in order to get that message to me that's just what it is we have little foes and stuff too that like to run around you know the ones that's been uh condemned to roam to and fro they try to you know they gotta sit in the nosebleeds you know what i mean we serve in the inner sanctuary in the temple you see so we are surrounded we are hedged we are shielded and uh yeah we have to remember to stay in it and not get out ahead of our cell source be having to pull us back pull us back y'all so uh we can stay protected and that's pretty much what it is that's pretty much what it is so uh we gonna pray because we really haven't done that. That was, was just a disclaimer, right? It might have sounded like prayer. But every word that we say is a prayer. So we try to be very, very mindful of everything that we say. Because the power of life and death lives in our tongue. I mean, we call our lives. And uh, to be mindful of what we're saying to self and to other selves is very, very, very critically important. Yes. Thank you to the source, to the Alpha, to the Omega, 
that called me and I answered, that gave me a decree and sealed me. Thank you so much for being here with me to bring a message onto me that would be edifying, a message that will strengthen me spiritually. I definitely have a yoke on my shoulders and it is feeling a wee bit heavy. Ooh, these muscles in my shoulders feel tense. And I think I could use a massage or something. <laughs> Yes. Thank you for giving me your word, your intelligence, and placing it down in me. And as it operates together in tandem with your breath, your holy chi, it fulfills and sustains me. Thank you. Calms me and comforts me. Let's me know that as you live and breathe with me and through me, as me, just a pixel, just a little piece that I have everything that I need to just be, to be sustained, to be nourished, to be comforted, to persevere anything that comes our way, any challenge that may be presented. For we are tested and we are tested consistently, constantly. And to stay focused on the discipline, the principal thing, wisdom, to stay calm using your breath, We can get through anything. We can face anything. We can conquer anything. For no weapon formed against us can ever prosper. We are safe, we are whole, we are complete. There's nothing broken and there's nothing missing. With you before us, our crooked ways are made straight. And I'll wait on you to provide me with clarity for every step that we take. I appreciate all of the learning and all of my experience, for I am love. Light on a voluntary escape. I am just observing, witnessing the magnificence of creation itself, you see. I see the source in all things. The Alpha that called it the Omega that creed, the creed and said, yeah, so it is and so mote it be. I get to see the source in the mountains, in the trees, in the valleys, in the seas. I get to see you in every blade of grass and every leaf on every tree. From the deciduous to the carnivorous all of that carnivorous coniferous right we talking about the ones that lose leaves and the ones that keep the needle pine uh, the pine cone ones and we cut them down for christmas trees you know what i'm talking about because they persevere through the winter and it's a tradition to honor them in such a way we're not going to argue about where that came from ashe it's just the point that we honor nature and the ability to persevere through the winter, through the cold and dark days, to see life as it remains. I think about the waterfalls and how the water just rushes and flows continuously, unyielded, unbounded, uninhibited, you see. And if I could be like the flowing waters that just rushes and washes over everything, eventually coming into that big body of oceans and seas, to see everything that's down in the depths, things that we haven't discovered yet, you see, because I'm just in this human vessel, and it's limited, my week. Like, I can't go down there and see all the other life forms and things to be discovered things that I just don't know that remain yet to be uncovered. And all of those things are so wondrous, you see. It lets me know that I only know just a small little thing. Keeps me humble, yes. For a wise man knows that they know nothing at all. So I'm so grateful to have access to the infinite intelligence of the all giving me that intuition and spiritual foresight and those two combined with the breath who that's the infinite intelligence the breath the dynamic duo the strength the might of the eternal that which made us all creation 
We are whole. We are complete. There is nothing broken. And there is nothing missing. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. I'm so excited to bring messages and just be. And I thank you so much for receiving little old me and getting anything from anything that we might say. And hopefully some of it inspires you on this day. Please protect us as we serve in the inner sanctuary, in the inner temple, surrounded by your light, by your love, that which you've gifted onto me. Protect me from anything that may come against thee, anything that will come in to try to confuse and distort thee. Place any illusions upon me because we live in a matrix, you see. And because we do, we question everything. See, those fallen ones can be a little bit crafty. They are manipulating and they use a whole lot of dark psychology. Yeah, they do. But we know that with the source, <laughs> with you, your intelligence before us, it will reveal all things. Again, we just have to remember to question it and wait to hear the answer. Is there anything else we should pray? Yes. If you have a message for your week, please come in and say what it is you need. Source says to be free. And truth and peace. Use the breath to calm the day. Could present some challenges on wheat field, but you have all you need to deal 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 is done rest my beloved one ashe ash ashe ashe Underline, underline, underline. Let's get it sealed. You are. Underline, underline. Let's get it. Let's get it. We sealed, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Y'all, you can have some challenges to face today. You could. But we know. With the infinite intelligence working with us in the breath of life, we can think our way through. We just need to stay calm to do it. Go into the self. Meditate. 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 See your victory. Your deal is done is what the source say. Everything is going to be okay. You are victorious at the end of the day. So go ahead and praise now, Ashe Alpha. Woo! Did you call a thing and give us some inspiration? And we said, oh, yes, I believe on it and we gonna move forward. The Omega said, I gave you a decree. Woo! It's already done. Just believe on me. Yes! If that ain't a motivation for you on this day, I don't know what is. Because I feel motivated, y'all. So let's get some cards. I want to play cards. Yes, let's get it. Woo! What we going to get? What we going to get? We going to use some vibrations. This says come home to your body. That's just what's sitting out on the top. We going to do a little shuffle. Come home to the body. Mm-hmm. 
that G, the God body. What? What up, y'all's week? What it do? Welcome back to the wheat field, y'all. Welcome to you. I hope you feel motivated on this day, because I sure do. I know something might be coming against us. We're going to call that back, and we ain't going to claim it. But the Alpha said there's a whole, look, that Omega. I know. I pointed Alpha. That ain't right. <laughs> ah! Beginning to the end. Alpha, Omega. Okay, they said something could be happening. May not be for me particularly. We gonna expect everything to come with ease. But if anything do come and challenge you, just know with that intelligence and that breath, huh, it ain't nothing you can't get through. It ain't. You want this one? All right, what did I say? Come home to the body. Come on home to your body. You see all of that coming into your heart space and your heart's desires going out into the ether. You can't tell which way it's flowing. It's a whole two-way communication that's happening. Your heart is communicating and the universe, the Alpha and Omega is communicating to you. Put what's what, 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 look. You put it in our heart, don't you? Mm -hmm. give us our heart's desires and tell us what it really is because when that inspiration came in it was something that was speaking to me it was I see something you are a divine facet of the universe you are you want to show that divine facet of the universe clear your energy field clear it do some deep breathing take a few minutes to meditate it's Monday y'all it's the stop, top of the week and some people just you know, so uh, maybe you need to step out into the car, into the break room, meditate a little bit in the loo, like in the bathroom, leave the problems outside the door, and you just go in there and breathe a couple of ones and twos and fuse, you know. <sighs> Barely made it to the morning meeting yet or had your second cup of coffee and somebody already on your nerves, my weed, I'm just saying. You never know how things are going to come at you. You know something that's unexpected coming in to test you. Because, again, we get tested daily. It's consistent. Change is consistent. And those tests come to push you because pain is a hell of a catalyst. I'm just saying. You see that yellow brick road? Dorothy got flew over into Oz somewhere. You talking about all next to the poppies. But she got to find her way back. Big, big world, but you got it, baby. Find your way back. We just might need to meditate it. Find your way back. Oh, yeah, we do. We sing. We we, we make up. I mean, we, we freestyle. It happens. You see it. Uh, Raise your vibration is a mantra that caused me to light up. Did we say we was going to raise the vibration? Raise your frequency. Get on the level of that which you desire, you see. You calling in that abundance. You calling in, like, I'm talking about your happiness, your true dharma, your service. Be on the frequency of it. Vibrate with it, and it will come to you. You will attract it. When we become resistant, then challenges arise go with the flow like the waterfall that's what we was talking about you know you know just go over the flow and the waterfall flows over rocks it flows over you know it just keep going flow around shit you know you are gonna be a resource to others like the fishes and crabs and all kind of stuff what up cancers happy birthday season i'm a cancer so it's almost happy birthday to me it's coming up soon i'm just saying i wake make way for miracles look at that door opening making way for miracles and that's what we was just saying and when you vibrate high like that get on the frequency of that what you want you make way for miracles and yeah clear your karma weigh it out let it go let it go everything is on to learning you know give it all up give it all up i mean like every experience every learning every piece of your inheritance i'm just saying give it up to the most high don't hold back nothing nothing no shame no blame no guilt none of what you did last year two years ago 10 20 maybe let it go it's over, man. I'm just saying it is done. Let it go. It may be blocking you from for what is to come. 
okay if you are holding on to anything any infraction any experience any piece of material wealth any of it release it now i'm not telling you to just go to the bank and and and, and give all your money away and do a gandhi and go you know living off in solitude for the rest of your day i'm saying allow everything to go back to the source for which made it nothing is on to self nothing no idea no accomplishment no nothing is on to us we have choices but we have to remember that everything in creation was made by the source by the alpha and omega which called all things whether we say they good or evil it called it all so no matter what you're experiencing you can give it up the source knows it anyway but to voluntarily go to the source and say i release it i surrender it i say i will be obedient to your word i am your will and surrender vessel use me on this day Woo, baby that's powerful it's safe for you to shine you will see it it is safe safe for you to just be you that stardust star seed a little bitty light you see yeah a pixel a piece of the most high that called the creed and sent thee to do a thing yeah put that intelligence that word in you that breath inside your god body yo g what with those two you could do anything anything you've been endowed you've been gifted every spiritual tool that you'd ever need now you might need some replenishment and to go sit in the spirit and give up everything that you learned on to it ask for forgiveness and give everything as a recompense huh and then say please receive me i have spiritual tools that have been depleted you see i seek a uh restoration i need replenishing For I still have a decree, and I need to complete it. I need to finish it. We go through spiritual battles all the time. We are always battling in the spirit. And to have our tools replenished, yeah, a lot of people don't know to ask for it. They don't. They think that they got what they got, and that's just it. No. Nope. You can go and offer up everything that you've learned on your journey so far give it all up ask for forgiveness give everything as your recompense my whole self i'm just i'm your vessel you using me to do a thing and i'm just working my way through this thing using the gifts that have been given on to me and i get depleted you see i give out a lot of energy so to be replenished in the spirit and get my spiritual tools replenished and restacked and stacked up. What? So I can be big and strong. Because again, I got a yoke on this shoulder. And I need to bear it. Devotion unites me with the infinite. Be devoted to that. Committed. Let's get motivated. Uh, uh, uh. It's crossing. Is that a challenge? Yeah. I hear folks only give up certain things, not all of it. You want this one? This. Face it, my shadow removes the darkness from the world. Can you face you? I feel like it's parts of you that you may not want to face, boo. Like you might be thinking, like that part is too dark or I just need to turn away from me. I need to shun me. I need to uh, put me away instead of accepting that that shadow is a part of you, I say, and to face it, to see what's in it. What did it teach you? How did it grow you? It's just another spectrum part of you. It is. And sometimes you, you need to dig into it. Because there's some wisdom there. My high vibes heal the world. Yeah, you heal yourself, your shadow self. And we do that individually. We will heal the world. Yes. You want one of these? No. I didn't show it. I don't think, think we showed it. Maybe. High vibes heal the world. If we all raise our frequency, then we will all ascend together, my weed. 
but it's a lot of people who are stuck in the darkness out here slipping in the darkness yeah feeling the fear feeling fear is a call for love you look at that shadow side and you can see your opposite you can see the opposite like the moon and the sun are opposites right and we can see the opposite the polarity of it the polarity and getting to par is a thing which one beloved anything else in here any energy yes this one this see this from a higher perspective and the last flip is you are protected you are protected but see things from a higher perspective how do we come to whole and good with our whole self is by recognizing what's in that shadow being able to face self what is your mirror reflection what is reflecting back at you? You can see that by looking in a mirror and being real honest and genuine with you. You can see it with the in the relationships that you've attracted and what they reflect back to you. Source says to see you in everything. Can you see you in everything? Can you see you in the darkness and your vulnerability and the shame and the hurt and the pain? Can you see you in the flowers and the trees and the bees and the sunshine and the, fl and the flow of water? Um, can you see you in bees are good going from flower, 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 spreading, pollen, seeding, everything, seeding, everything, everything, seeds, pollinate the world the seeds pollinate the world and bees I guess that's why I wanted you know how they always say busy as a bee and bees are one of the symbols of abundance you see because they go and they collect pollen and they spread those flower seeds you know the pollen and they help pollinate the globe it would be a catastrophe if we just lost all the bees. I mean, and it's such a small little thing. But you think about, you know, the life of bees and how that queen is in the hive and everything protects the queen, all of them. They have armies and they have worker bees and everybody's got their roles and they do it innately. Like they work together as a community. And they do that for the benefit of the hive. And they collect, again, pollen and they go back and make honey. But as they go from flower to flower, they cross-pollinate, you see. And we have an array of flowers that they help to create. You know, it is so much bigger than just their one little hive and the work that they do. I mean, I think about the small creepy things like ants too. Do you know how many species of ants and types of ants they are and how big their colonies are under the ground? Like if ants really wanted to overtake humans, they probably could. But they just have no intent to. They and it's not like they don't think and that they can't they couldn't organize because they have some of the most sophisticated formations of army and military strategy of anything on the planet, you see. They do.
I'm talking about you talking about you step on one red ant and it releases a chemical that charges all the other red ants and have them rush to that location to come and help and come to save like the way they vibrate and their chemical footprint is just amazing we could learn so much just by watching nature again it's a word on everything if we would humble ourselves to see just saying feeling fear is a call for love it is you know if you are feeling fearful dig into your faith if you are feeling lonely you know what I mean what is that saying to you have you isolated yourself have you pushed people away are you a connect with self because you are never alone I say never we are completion we are whole we are complete there's nothing broken and there's nothing missing your ancestors are still with thee the source the Alpha and Omega reside with thee it is the living God, the highest, the eternal, it is always with thee. And of course, you can never be anywhere but with the source because you are a pixel, a piece of it. If you are feeling lonely, it is because you have forgotten who you are and what you are. And those feelings come to remind you to go back within, to rediscover you. Face your shadow. Face it. If we all, if we were, is that what I'm saying? Source says to face your darkness. From darkness we come into darkness we shall return. And I love that. I do. I love that. And I think that it's a beautiful thing to sit in the dark. I do. To be comfortable in the dark. To be comfortable in uncertainty. That is a place where we learn how to trust and deepen our faith, you see. It is because when you can't see the light and you can't see your way, you have to trust on the source to make the way or presume that the way is going to be made, that a way that you can think your way out of it, that is a place where we meditate, right? And we can, uh, we can just sit with it. We can just let it be, you know, see what it again is saying to thee. What is it teaching thee? You know, what is it showing you about you? Again, depression is a blessing, and people don't think about it like that. They don't. They don't recognize that depressive symptoms are telling them something about self. It's an alarm system. It's saying, like, the smoke detector, right? Like, I'm depressed and something's going on. It's something that I need to transmute. It's something that I need to release. It's something that I need to face for the betterment, for the growth, the deepening of me, to discover me. What is it about this feeling that is oppressing me? How can I use it to discover me, to, again, grow me? How do we do that if we don't face it? It gives you courage. If you can face you, you can face anything. Because nothing can judge you but that which made you, which called your light. Not just the people that birthed you, right? Because once, I mean, and I'm just going to go there, anybody that has an alternate lifestyle, once they become comfortable with the choices that they made and wrestle with that darkness that's in them, I say, they can face others. They can come out and say, hey, this is me. This is my feeling. This is how I'm presenting. And be good with that and go forward. But the first thing is to be comfortable with self before you can face the world. Because... If whatever is going on with you, you will call that to you because that's what you're resonating with. That's your frequency. That's what you're that's all that you are able and eligible to receive. 
so if you are depressed my week and you stay on that frequency level without facing you and digging into those emotions you will call in more depression you will resonate with it you will find others to trauma bond with it people who will bring drama into your life who may manipulate you who may use you because they can feel and see your vulnerability too it brings me back to something that we saw last night a person was speaking on narcissism and we know that narcissism is the new trigger word and i've used it on this channel too like a narcissist because it really are narcissists in this day they are and a lot of narcissists are created in childhood right depending on what it is that you've experienced childhood trauma people develop this disorder they develop the syndrome of narcissism and every person has narcissistic traits I say empaths too. It just depends on your severity and, and, and how much does it afflict you. Does it impact your life? Does it impact your relationships? How many of the characteristics do you display? And again, what is the severity of it? It is a diagnosable condition that must be treated by a skilled therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist. But the funny thing about it is that many narcissists are so savvy and so intellectually swift that they can skate around the normal therapist. They know how to mask and match emotion. They know how to manipulate. But it is a thing if you are skilled and trained to see it just like many other social disorders or personality disorders it takes a certain type of therapist to find it to see it to pick up on their clues when they are masking right can you see it and that's just a whole nother conversation because this person was pretty much saying that uh most narcissists are highly successful and that's just not true Many narcissists have an issue with holding down jobs because they can only hold the mask for so long and the narcissism itself, the condition, can limit them. They have an issue with keeping relationships because they tire out their partners through the manipulation. Some people end up staying for a long time, but many people leave because they just get so downtrodden and depleted. And once that supply is gone, the narcissist will discard them and look for another supply. So I, 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 and it was so funny because this person was saying all of these things and giving some good tips on, on the subject of narcissism and how it's been misconstrued in this day and the overuse of the term, Ashe. Um, but they had done like one or two days worth of learning. And then it was almost like sitting in an expert position to say this is this and was not this. And I was just like, well, that's highly questionable. You know, that goes against a lot of therapists and what they are actually saying from a medically related diagnosable position. So take it for a grain of salt. YouTube is not just the ultimate all be all end all when it comes to looking at personality disorders and whether or not a person is a narcissist or not. We don't have the ability to diagnose that. But you can say that a person has high nice narcissistic traits and characteristics. You can see that because each of us have narcissistic traits. Each of us can manipulate. We can each wear a mask, right? We can each use each other for our energy supply, feed off each other. You like being around a certain friend because they're high vibing. I mean, they make you feel better. You call them when you don't feel good because they come in with the feel goods. I mean, each of us have that. But again, are you using it to manipulate? Are you using it to feed your own needs in such a way that you are hurting others intentionally, Ashe? Are you uh, 
raging out where you don't know how to regulate any of your emotion? Do you do that to control other people's emotion? Do you have a history of discarding people when they're no longer useful to you? When their usefulness has been depleted and you just move on, but you kind of hold on to them. What is the manipulating factors that you use after they have discarded you? Like it is a whole range and host of things that goes with the disorder of narcissism so be very careful of the labels we would place on each other i definitely say this was a narcissist but again i'm not a physician i'm not a psychologist i'm not a psychiatrist so if that be the case then i can make that correction because i'm just not but to say that somebody has narcissistic traits, oh, we could see that all day, I say. Highly narcissistic traits. And because our families have been so degraded, our food supply, think about it. We see autism at rates that we've never seen before in the history. Why? Right? Because our food is so depleted. It's full of metals and toxins and carcinogens that it causes issues in the body and development. People who come from broken homes and experience trauma on certain levels do get stagnated in their development. It develop, it, they develop disorders in their ability to appropriately relate to one another. So society itself has a range of disorders that are running rampant. Rampant. And depression is the number one issue. So many people are depressed, but it really is. I mean, it really is. Society itself is depressed. But it's because of the pressures that we have on us. Not only social media and first it was celebrities and movies and stuff telling you what your life should look like, but it's also been a lot of other dark psychology that has taken us away from the natural order of things. And that doesn't have anything to do with anybody's particular preference in how they present. No. What I'm saying is our emotions and how we vibrate, our frequency is really, really, really affected. Seriously affected. We are, bar we are can I say that? Yes. We are bombarded with radio waves and frequencies that just... I mean, the cell phones, the lights, the televisions, the microwaves, all of these are waves and frequency, infrared waves. I mean, I'm just talking about like it's so much of it. The radiation is everywhere. Does it affect society? Absolutely. Absolutely. You would be hard pressed to get away from it. Even the power lines and as much electricity that is running around us, it throws us off. So to go into the darkness and to sit and to meditate, to ground yourself, you have electricity running through you. Your central nervous system is sending signals throughout your body all day long. Can you imagine a power line that doesn't have any grounding to it, that never is grounded, is just sparking all over the place? Think about that. You are a, an electrical, can I say that? You are an electrical conduit. Electricity runs through you, to you, and out of you. So to ground yourself, to take your shoes off, put your feet and hands in the earth and ground yourself, man, how many sessions of therapy is that worth? To sit, put your hands and feet in the earth and just breathe, to release. To go to the water and listen and put your feet in the dirt 
or in the water itself and feel the flow to match the rhythm the vibration of the earth of the plane it will help you pardon my neighbors got a huge riding lawn more and 25 percent of their lawn is dirt and they like to mow dirt and throw it everywhere anywho let's get back into some higher vibes see things from a higher perspective all that we just said know that you are protected you are you are protected it's okay to feel what you need to feel it's okay feel you feel the earth too feel the rain feel the sunshine I've been on that rain for a minute though you know feeling the rain feel the flow whether it's a stream a lake an ocean whether you listening to it whether you outside in the storm while it's storming whether you stand out there i would suggest when it's lightning you know what i mean but you know just go out there and get let yourself get wet get muddy um and just feel it i feel the temptations from back in the day how I wish that it would rain, 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 rain. It's nothing wrong with that. And you don't have to just be particularly sad. You don't. It's a fun thing to kick around in the rain puddles. You see little kids, especially little boys, it's raining outside. The first thing they want to do is go out there and run and jump in the biggest puddle they can find and splash it everywhere. Let's take a cue from them sometimes and just do it bring that kid spirit back you'll be surprised how good you feel about it unique lives i respect everyone's individual decisions and way of life we are each on our own unique journey and my way isn't the only way it's not my job is not to change others but to simply love them do you want this card our job is not to simply change to change others is to love them we are each light on a voluntary escape we are all love and to give each other grace i say in this day is a huge thing and we face our own darkness and we can see that others have darkness within too now some is like slipped in the darkness i say and you got to be able to discern when to move away and you definitely could tell a narcissist about how they behave when you discard them, Ashe. They do way more than just get depressed. I mean, they could turn downright nasty and vindictive and manipulative and very hurtful. It may not be just narcissism either. It could be some other social disorder. Play. I am completely engaged in what I do in the here and now. I call it play instead of work. I am deeply fulfilled by all that I do. You want this? Yes. See things from a higher perspective. Play, I mean, we here on an escape. Escapism and exploration, having an experience. Sometimes we just need to not take things so serious. It's just life and we just live in it. Sometimes you just got to... I mean, well, not sometimes. We all got to. But give it up. Play outside. That's his play. I guess that's what it is. Because he do. He got this huge riding lawnmower. I mean, like, he got these big old earphones on and he be listening to his music jamming and he just be riding around the yard in this thing i can imagine like it's like his uh uh what is that back in the day a big wheel like a big ass big wheel for him he retired too and i feel like he wait for every monday just so he can mow the lawn i promise you it do commitment <laughs> I am committed to my growth and dreams. I set routines and habits that help me evolve into my fullest potential. Do you have routines and habits that help you evolve? Or are you kind of stuck and stagnant, unable to get going and to move and flow through it, to step your way through it, to put you into motion, I feel? Like, what are you doing to get yourself going again? 
to move towards something, to accomplish something, not related to money or a plaque on the wall, but what is it that would be fulfilling to you that's really playful? Even though I may not see the physical manifestation of my desires, I know they have vibrationally manifested and are on their way to me. Vibrationally manifested. What are you vibrating with? What is your frequency? We can tune our frequencies. That's a challenge. What is your tuning? You know, like back in the day, we had to have them little radios and you had to tune the frequency to get the station to come in clear for clarity. We must do the same thing. Everything within as it is on the out, right? So you, you know, conducting, being a conductor of electricity, you communicate with your plane and if your frequency is off and it needs to be fine-tuned then you're gonna be off in what you're receiving and how you're being received it could sound real staticky right you could be like a CB radio or something that and they trying you trying to pick up a message a, a, a communication a download but the signal is sort so distorted and so chaotic that you they you know the communication flow is blocked it's it's off right and i feel like the two of pentacles the juggling like it's off and to bring it back into balance right is a thing to come into balance and that happens when we are grounding when we are being rooted, we stay rooted to our foundation, putting our feet and our hands in it, associating ourselves with the flow of life, of nature, of the plane itself, stepping away from the pool of society right that is chaotic and just raging and full of all of these waves and frequencies but we get back to connection of the root our vessels are from the earth and it has a vibration and to reconnect to plug in we do that in grounding and meditation anything else in here no this let's get some love angels out Getting to know each other and separation is here. I do feel like, you know, we are separated from Mother Earth. We are. And to get to know her, to reconnect to that alpha energy will help us a lot. So it's having, a, uh, I'm like having to feel the frequency, the vibration of what I'm being told, what's being said to me, which card to pull. And I started laughing internally because I could feel me really needing to tune in to what was being said to me. What was the vibration being fed to me? Because I can feel the frequency. I can feel the vibration. I am a pendulum, one of my gifts you see so I can feel what's being said through the vibration of my body from what I'm touching I feel the energy of it and if I'm having a difficult time feeling the energy then I know I must dial in and be very very still very quiet you know pay attention to the sensitivity of it and I just started laughing because it was like an example of dialing in, dialing in and tuning in. Wedding. 
coming together in a committed way, making a commitment to another mirror image of you, Ashe. And I mean, like, what are you married to? What are you committed to? What are you linked up with? I feel now this could be love for some um, but I don't necessarily feel this in the romantic sense I feel this is uh, again our commitments right we said goals and commitments right I am committed to my growth and dreams I set routines and habits that help me evolve into my fullest potential even though I may not see the physical manifestation of my desires I know they have vibrationally manifested and are on their way to me so if you are a person that seeks to be married are you vibrating in that capacity or are you waiting to get married or have, find a partner to begin that vibrational frequency i would say that the latter is backwards and you should start with the first to vibrate in this energy to call in your appropriate mate right getting to hold getting to good before you get into relationship before you become engaged so that would you commit yourself bind yourself to and contract and and a vow is good for you it mirrors you because it's gonna mirror you in some sort of way you're gonna pull you in Ashe. you what's in your heart space is who you will pull in it's going to people prey on your vulnerabilities they manipulate the and again, they don't have to be a diagnosed full-blown narcissist to do that. They don't. They can have some high narcissistic traits. Highly ni ni narcissistic in their operations. They could have uh, a personality disorder, like antisocial disorder. They could suffer from Munchausen since You don't want that. Oh, well. They could suffer from a range of things just saying I feel like you pulling me into something see things from a higher perspective this what you commit yourself to is going to be a mirror reflection of you this situation involves a marriage is it challenge yeah so maybe I'm speaking to somebody who's married and they feel a certain kind of way about their marriage and maybe not understanding, you know, the components of it or the mechanics of it or just the emotion and the frequency of it, the chaos that's going on in there. I definitely feel chaos and heartache. Um, go to go to the source and think about whatever it is that you are going through and let your spirit resonate and provide you the answers i say i'm just a vessel this is educational purposes only anything that i say look it up for yourself and see how it works out for thee let it sit in your spirit and meditation and see how the source the alpha and omega speak to thee we we heard in the beginning that somebody would be faced with a challenge and you have the ability to get through it you do anything else in here engagement and pay attention to the red flags and this is kind of what i was saying sometimes we move too fast and get into relationships and whether or not we are all the way to good when we get into it because we will call in people who will either manipulate and, and and exploit your vulnerabilities and pull you in and suck you in and then when the mask comes off it's a whole different thing because they feel like now they've got you they've trapped you and you um are more you're unlikely to leave especially if a person is causing you some emotional disruption and, and and diminishing you emotionally and spiritually you can present with physical pain due to the stress that you are under from whatever is suppressing thee and you can be made to feel as if you are unworthy of leaving and depending on your spiritual walk, your religious sector and practice, you may feel like you are unable to leave, right? That you are 
um, stuck and you must endure. Again, it's not my place to tell you a fuck shit thing about leaving your marriage or your anything, but it is about, or if you're getting ready to get married, you may not even be married yet. You could still be in this space engagement and paying attention to the red flags maybe you starting to see some things that is like making you question like this don't seem like it's coinky dink pay attention pay attention and it ain't on to nobody else if you back out of it it is on to you and to yourself the goodness and benefit of you what is for your health and goodness your longevity what is the exaltation of your soul, the source of us living, that which called your light, would not put you in a position to be hurt, to be harmed, to be diminished, to be made to feel like shit? None of it. That's not the lighter side of love, beloved. It's not. It's not. If it ain't got no sympathy, no empathy, no ability to communicate, for understanding, to give each other compassion, you see... And to do that from a knowledge-based standpoint and to be diligent at it and committed and doing it on a daily where you both can grow together in wisdom and that gives you peace, peace in your home, within yourself and in your spirit because the first entity you owe that to is you, my we, you. And if you not good with you, able to face your own darkness your own shadows you will call in somebody that's going to mimic and mirror those shadows and you don't know which way it's coming but you know that they got them maybe that's a part of these here red flags maybe that's a part of the challenge that the source was saying that you're going to have to face Ashe for the benefit of you because I feel somebody might be challenged we're moving away from something before you feel like it's too late. I wouldn't give a damn if the venue is set. You got a ring on your finger. The dress is in the closet. And the bridesmaids done had their last fitting. I wouldn't give a damn if you done had the bachelor party and all kind of strippers or whatever the case may be. That wedding is for one day. A messed up marriage could last for how long, I say, and they could even unalive you in this day. Watch the news, beloved. Folks got all these disorders out here in society, and uh, it's just this much that we know of it. Because we just said narcissism, and it takes a skilled therapist that is trained in that specifically to detect it. Because people are smart, they are savvy, they know how to get around shit, they know how to manipulate, they know how to match your energy, they know how to wear a mask, a couple of them. And they don't come off until they got you locked down like clink clink. And then they feel like they can let it slip, they can let it go, and before you know it, you in a living hell, yo. I'm sorry, the spirit moved and told me to say it to somebody. Pay attention to the red flags, beloved. Pay attention. You might be trying to give this shit a chance. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. They gonna change. They gonna change. No. Who you see today could get worse, Ashe. It don't always get better. And the likelihood of it getting better is slim to none if they ain't trying to work on it now. And don't marry. Don't commit until y'all good with it. To you good. And if you dealing with it, you probably need some counseling too. You need to go, and again, get grounded. Meditation. Face your shadows so you can see what you calling. What are you vibrating with? What's on your frequency? Because if you hurt, then you, you're going to you're gonna resonate with somebody else that's hurt. If you traumatized, you're going to resonate with somebody that's traumatized. And it's vultures out here. They prey on traumatized, vulnerable people to hurt them, to siphon off of them, to suck off of you. Ooh, beloved. Yeah. Honeymoon. It could be over real, real, real soon. Healing family issues. Expressing your love. 
free yourself religious factors all of it deal with it face it an expression of love could be for self not just for others how are you loving on you you are your first love you are never alone the alpha and omega are always with you you are held in creation you will never be alone if you felt lonely and you got with somebody out of loneliness don't you think they could see that on you they could smell it like a shark and somebody's bleeding out they smell that blood from miles away they circle they're the predator and you're the prey while you praying they praying <sighs> new love passion it was flirty and maybe it got something to do with your finances but the advice is to love yourself first don't let nobody move you too soon throw you all in a hole you know, love bomb situation and y'all done raced off to the honeymoon. Don't do it. Give it time to grow. Have you ever told this person no? Have you ever said no? Anything else out of this day, beloved? No. Anything else we can get? Yes. Angel message. Relax and open up to the source. Keep your heart open. I'm an ambassador for Earth. Build your bridge to the source. Reconnect to the source. Reconnect to the Alpha and Omega, that which called your light, that knows you best, that will help you deal with those dark days and your challenges, to help you face your, your shadow self, to help you face your fears. Face your fears. Facing my shadows removes the darkness from the world. Feeling fear is a call for love. Somebody feels afraid. Definitely. Connect with the unicorns. Receive the white ascension flame. Maybe you are a unique person. And you are looking for connection. You know. With faith you are invincible. Believe in yourself. Be interdependent. Expand your horizons. Do you have anything in you that is codependent? That is looking for a person to help heal you? Almost feeling like a band-aid placed on you. Look to the stars. Accept keys and codes of stellar wisdom. Being held in the light within. Understand that we are pixels and pieces of the source. We are light. Help me. Help me. Learn from your challenges. Relax and trust. It said that somebody was going to face a challenge. Learn from it. Relax and trust. That's what we have for you guys today. Is there anything else, beloved? No. Love yourself unconditionally and ask for help. Start with you, beloved. Love you first. Pay attention to the red flags. They don't get better. If you don't, it just gets worse. It don't get better. They just get worse. I love you just like I love me.
This your girl Lati here at Tears and We Tarot Show where you show enough, never know what you're gonna get. Get this the love of the Alpha and the Omega, that which called your light and decreed it, gave you the infinite intelligence and the breath of life. The perfect counselor is built in. You have the ability to calm and comfort yourself. Get grounded on this day for you first. To the next now, Ashe.